you wouldn't know where to find holy water if the Pope himself handed it to you. I thought you were just trying to pop up and get Pope. What? Sarah and Michael. I'm gonna come see my girls and you or him. I know you and Sarah got issues with court and stuff with the babies, but how's that going? Is it even realistic? Is it a good idea for Malcolm to inject himself into this whole situation? I mean, obviously they're going through a whole custody battle. Like it, it could be nasty. He's the new guy on the block. Should he really be asking these questions or should he just be asking just normal plain questions? Like obviously Michael is not trying to be all kinds of friendly. Michael is not trying to be his friend, not trying to really be cordial. I don't know what he's on. But yeah, I don't know if it is wise to go deep into their marital issues, you know. believe anybody she's dealing with if I really force the issue. You know that Michael is not even wrong. He's saying that he could get Sarah to leave anybody that she's dealing with. Do you know how arrogant <laughs> you have to be to think that? But the thing about it is, he might be right. They split up before and somehow he got her to lay down with him and they had another child even though he was dealing with another woman and they were going through a separation slash divorce slash whatever. So it's 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 wild that he has such a grip on her and he knows it. That's the sad part. So he can go and deal with all these other side pieces and know that he can still come back to her and she'll be there just waiting with open arms. Thank you for like being here. Listen, and I hope he's not the rebound because Malcolm seems like a good dude, somebody who is relatively well young, I guess. Um, and he's you know really ready to take care of her two kids, like she should be happy and she should not abuse this relationship. The Michael thing is done, she should she should Megan the thing and just be out. Although Michael didn't even like Megan anymore, so hmm, there's that. So, so you don't pop up on me, man. Mm -hmm. You pop up on me all the time. What? I didn't even know that was a saying. Get Pope? My goodness, this is ratchet and ghetto as anything. And look at his smile. Like, obviously, honestly, anytime I see this guy, I'm like, mm mm. He looks sometimes like, I don't know, there's some, there's some evil, evil stuff going on there, I'm telling you. And she's okay. smiling. Ha! You got the two kids, I'm alright. You should be. Last time Michael and I slept together was the last time he was in New York with Maria. Maria. We have a court day coming up tomorrow. I know. I got to that was shitty. And you didn't want to talk about it? Or I mean, what's there to talk about, yo? We got court. Trying to take my kids. I'm trying to take your kids. Where are you even living right now? In Miami. Yeah, because the babies need to go to freaking Miami for half of a year. I, I never told you that. That's the That's whole 50 thing. 50. It doesn't matter. He wants 50 50 custody. I don't know what he, he's thinking about 50 50. But when you do 50 50, the kids are going to be gonna be with her half the time and the kids are going to be with you half the time. And they are too young for all this back and forth. And the back and forth is not a small back and forth. Like it's a long distance back and forth. So no, that would not be beneficial for those kids whatsoever. But that's what he wants. We, is actually, it shouldn't even be court. You have to go to get a divorce, Mike. You're okay, going to get off the marriage. Okay. And now you're mad that I'm on board. Okay. Backbone. That that is my whole uh, underlying motto throughout this whole season. Backbone. Some people got it. Some people don't. Scott has got a little bit of it. Sean definitely doesn't. Sarah over here is trying to have it, kinda. But you know, Michael can play his little games here and there, and then next thing you know, he's all back cuddly, cuddly with him. Hmm. They said I got dealt with. She gonna be with the position. <laughs> Levitate. And then I sprinkle some other water on <coughs> What? Bruv, that was too much. That was too much. Mm. Did he got the... What? And he thinks that's a good thing. You wouldn't know where to find holy water if the Pope himself handed it to you, okay? This is ridiculous. Don't mess with those... Those realms. Don't mess with those things. Don't mess with those things. I mean... Hey, I, I don't know about all that. You talk about being in, in thunder fire and then you're talking about heavenly stuff the next time. I don't know. I don't know. Um, these ladies that are also dealing with him, it's it's sad. It's sad. Let me tell you, if you're dealing with a bum person like this who doesn't want to take responsibility for his kids, 
it's sad and it's sad that you're involving yourself in this kind of situation this type of mess it's very very sad <laughs> why is he always dealing with somebody as well where does he even find these people like i would love to see these people go through lock up and uh, lock what do you call it lockdown and stuff like that and see how they are in the real world right when they can't go out like this and get these tricks and chicks and side pieces from any which way because people are moving mad people are actually moving mad so at least she came and started off with how are your babies because a lot of people didn't care maria didn't care about the kids maybe yeah she didn't care at least this girl seems to care about that but then he tells her about the whole situation where he went to the birthday party of rain and malcolm was there and he wasn't trying to do all day and she's like that's the wrong place that's the wrong place you know those people whom when people tell their stories they are like dr phil in it they will tell you all the advice they'll tell you what you need to do and what you don't need to do they'll they'll tell you so many things and it's like but you don't know the ins and outs you don't know the half of it you don't know anything but she's injecting herself into the situation as well as michael is malcolm was injecting himself into their situation i don't know if that's wise but hey ho you feel good to be around any chick that that's his motto how many times have we heard this first it was megan 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 my queen i love sarah but megan my queen i know i don't love megan no more i got maria maria she a cool chick that i like to deal with maria is nah she crazy she's a crazy bee. i like Haley. Haley, she cool she's just someone i kick it with how do people just justify living like this it's like what sarah was asking where are you even living right now nobody knows this guy just comes and goes and just does whatever he wants to do any which way and he doesn't feel any type of way about it like it's it's a reckless life like when are you stable anytime we see this guy is in a hotel room why and how i don't know i don't know maybe it's because he's visiting her in in new york anyway. That's my but knowing her intentions for me makes it even better so i did not miss going out and getting them drinks that are like 15 mil with a whole bunch of ice uh-uh making your own stuff at home is the best man i just want to clear my head with her <laughs> literally yo imagine imagine come see nonsense imagine wow that that is ridiculous that is ridiculous if only those people could hear what they're saying at the, at the testimonials confessionals whatever you call them i wonder if there would even be any relationship right now because in those confessionals they are real they are real they are raw and they're laying it all out there wow disgusting this guy like he's he's in the running to become the most disliked person on this season right now because people are not fooling with him at all like he's just he everything he does is just low down to the ground terrible terrible i hope these people fix their lives because especially when kids are involved i i just i don't play that i think it's it's disgusting to bring these kids into the world and be acting like this this is for you know this is so juvenile so juvenile in any case if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bomb stomp as sometimes subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell i'll share it i'll see you in the next video with you tomorrow daily videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right god bless